So this is gonna be my full story going from zero dollars to a multi-millionaire at the age of 22 years old. My name's Camille Satar, welcome to my video story and I started this at the age of 16 to 17 years old and it took me just over five years to become a multi-millionaire. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down my full journey from going from zero dollars completely broke to becoming a multi-millionaire. I do wanna make it completely clear that I don't come from a rich family. No one in my family tree has ever become a multi-millionaire or even close to that position. I'm the first one to do it. My family originate from Pakistan and they came to the UK. And for those that understand how hard it is for people that come from third world countries to first world countries like the UK, the US, it is not easy. Now, most people that come from third world countries like Pakistan and then move to first world countries tend to live in the really poor parts of these first world countries. Now, my mom and dad would work multiple jobs, for example, working at the cinema just to be able to keep a roof over our head. And the house that I grew up in originally was not a big house. That was a starting point for me and that really molded me into who I am today. I'm 23 years old. I'm able to look after my mom and dad and my family. For example, my mom and dad wanted to go back home to Pakistan and it isn't cheap to go there. And I paid for all the flights and everything so they can go home and be happy. I'm also able to travel the world with the love of my life, my partner that I've been with for the last six years. And I've been with my partner since the start of my journey. So I was with her before I had any money. And being with the love of my life for the last six years, especially especially through the tough times where we weren't able to do amazing things and it was really tough to now being able to travel the world with her and do anything that I want and to make us really happy is a blessing. I'm also able to do things and never worry about the price tag or ever think, oh, I can't afford to do this activity with my friends or family or my partner. And growing up, that was always a big struggle for us when we ever wanted to do things because we couldn't afford to do it. And for those that are watching this that are thinking, where are the Lambos? Where's the Gucci? I'm not into any of that kind of stuff. I do live in an absolutely beautiful apartment that's that's worth over a million dollars. And I do rent the apartment by the way, and it is very expensive to rent. And at the moment I run multiple e-commerce brands and drop shipping stores that bring in an annual revenue of between seven figures and eight figures. And one of the e-commerce brands that I co-own that I'm really proud of is Solitar, which is a high-end streetwear brand and rappers have worn it, celebrities have worn it, football players have worn it, basketball players have worn it. We don't pay them to wear it. They absolutely love the brand and it is a seven figure brand. And the part that I'm most excited about for you guys to watch is where I came from to where I am now because a lot of you guys when you watch my journey especially where I came from are going to be able to relate to it and understand that any of you guys that are watching this can become a multi-millionaire. If this video is able to motivate even just 10 people to becoming a multi-millionaire I'd be extremely happy. So let's get straight into the story and it starts with me growing up as a young child. Now watching my mom and dad struggle just to make ends meet and even my mom barely being at home because she's too busy working and having to pay for caretakers to look after me really broke my heart. Now I did see my mom and dad but I didn't see them enough as much as I wanted to. So growing up as a child and seeing that made me think that when I have my own children I would never want that for them. And something else that really molded me as a young child to want more out of life was when I used to go to school and I used to see the the kids have the new blackberries the new ipods have the new shoes their mom and dads would drop them off in really nice bmws mercedes some really nice cars and it really made me think wow i would love to be in the same position and i used to ask my mom to go out and buy some new clothes and go to town and do some things with my mates and i used to ask for money my mom would give me small amounts of money but not enough to go out there and buy some new shoes or do anything crazy like these other people would be able to do from school and i'd remember asking my mom pretty much every other week Weekend if we can go out and do something and she said look cam money's quite tight at the moment we can't do it and i used to hear that a lot growing up and it really molded my mind into saying when i grow up i need to make lots of money i remember a time at my house where the boiler broke down and we couldn't afford to get a brand new boiler so we used to have to use hot water buckets to actually shower in so you get the hot kettle pour the water into the bucket stand in the shower and literally put water over your head because we weren't able to replace the boiler and witnessing all of these things growing up really made me think bigger when I was old enough to make money. Then that moves me on to working at Primark, which is a retail store. Now, for those that don't know what Primark is, I'm going to put a few images on the screen trying to show what it is, but it's a very cheap clothing retail store and it's massive in the UK and I believe also in Europe. And my job was to be a till operator and I'll put a video on the screen of me actually working behind the tills and I used to absolutely hate it. Whilst working that job, I was on minimum wage for my age, which was 16 years old and I was 
making around about three pounds something per hour. I don't think that's the exact number, but if I can find a screenshot of my payslip, I'll put it on the screen. And I was doing really long hours, which was like 30 to 40 hours per week. And this was during the holidays, so I had time to be able to do this. The reason why I did long hours was because I really wanted to make as much money as possible. So I decided to quit that job and move to another shop called JD, which is like a trainer shop, a tracksuit shop, and it was more my kind of style. The pay was very similar, slightly more, but it was about working with one of my mates that used to work there as well. And also the music they used to play in there was really cool. So that helped me whilst working for hours per day. And this was being a Christmas temp job, so I wasn't there permanently. So I moved from a permanent job to a temporary job just because of the few benefits. And when it came on to who was actually gonna stay as a permanent employee after the Christmas temps, I wasn't one of them. I think they hired 10 people and they chose two. And I wasn't one because I didn't get on with my manager because he used to mess around with my timetable all the time. And the kind of person that I was growing up and I was whilst I was working these jobs is, I always stand up for what I truly believe in. And if somebody's gonna mess me about and lie, I'm not gonna let them overwhelm me because they have a higher authority. I'm just gonna say what I truly believe in. And at this point in my life, it got really depressing because I was around about 15, 16 years old. I left school with no GCSEs. I didn't even get one GCSE and I'll put them on the screen so you can see them. And that meant that I couldn't get a good paid job. I'd have to do these really bad jobs just to make things meet. And that really hurt me because I was thinking I want to make as much money as possible. And how can I do that if I don't have good grades? Now, the good news is I actually saved a reasonable amount of money when I left Primark in JD. I had around about a few thousand pounds saved up in a pot and I actually made my first business, which was a buying and reselling business, selling high-end luxury shoes and high-end clothing. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into that because I've been over it in another video, but that was the actual stepping stone to get me into becoming an entrepreneur. And the reason why I started that business model was because it was something that I had a lot of passion for and I really enjoyed. So now that moves us on to how I made my first million so back in 2017, I decided to start my first dropshipping website and business. And the reason why was because I was doing really well with my buying and reselling business. It was bringing in a few thousand pounds of profit per month, but it just wasn't scalable and it wasn't going to take me to the position that I wanted to be in. So what I did is I spent a few days on YouTube and Google, Googling the best ways to make money online. And I read through loads of different articles, watched loads of different videos and dropshipping just kept coming out on these articles and videos. And it was a business model that got my attention the most out of all of them like affiliate marketing social media marketing agency all of those things dropshipping was the one that actually made me think that sounds interesting but i started my first dropshipping store around about mid 2017 and i lost a lot of money for the first six months because i had no idea what i was doing i was building websites i was spending money on instagram pages doing loads of different ways to try and promote the store and i was bringing in literally no customers and the ones that i was bringing in wasn't paying off the money that i spent on advertising so what I decided to do is I decided to actually take a step back, invest into some courses, invest into some masterminds and some events. And then that actually helped me gain the knowledge to actually then go on to make my first successful store. So that brings us to the end of 2017. And I wasn't making any money with the drop shipping stores. I was making okay money with the buying and reselling a few thousand dollars. So that brings us now into 2018. Now going from watching those courses, those masterminds, it gave me the knowledge that I needed to, to have the confidence to go again. So in 2018, I built my first niche store for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, and that festive season. And I was able to make my first million dollars in revenue with around about $180,000 in profit. And all of those skills that I learned from 2017, it all paid off with this niche store for the festival season. Now, whilst achieving that success, I was still living at home. And that was what was dragging me behind because my home environment wasn't the best for concentration and success because it it was very loud. No one was really considerate of my work life. And there'd be lots of arguments with me and my brother, my dad and my mom, nothing crazy. It was just typical family arguments. And it was bringing me down. And also having a serious relationship as well was taking up some time and that had a toll on my relationship. And I wasn't able to do amazing things with my partner at the time. And the reason why I didn't move out at that time was because I wasn't confident enough to move out yet. I thought, oh, what if I just got lucky and all this money disappears if I move out? 
So it was more me holding on to what I was comfortable with, which was living at home, knowing that my mom and dad would look after me. Especially as people around me were saying, Cam, it was just a one-off lucky thing, mate. Just bag the money, don't try again, just keep it, invest it maybe into a bit of real estate. But whatever you do, do not try it again because there's a high chance of you losing every single bit of money that you've just made. Now that moves us into 2019 and this was the year where I lost a lot and I had to rebuild everything from the ground up again. And the store that made me success in the previous year, 2018, started to completely die out and it went from making $35,000 roughly in profit to now make me around about $3,000 in profit. And you've got to bear in mind that I completely closed down the buying and reselling business at that time so dropshipping was my full-time income. So this was a massive blow to me and with what everyone was saying before, it started to take a toll on me because I started to believe in what people were saying that it was a one-off hit. Now with all that going on, I still decided to pursue and try and give it a go and this is where I lost $50,000 by testing new stores, new products. I even tried to private label my first ever successful product and it completely died out as soon as I private labeled the product. And for those that don't know what private labeling means, it's where you put your logo on a product. So what I decided to do was take a break for around about one to two months, reset myself, which took us to around about August, September time. And I decided to invest into mentors and I hired two mentors to help me with a lot of things, personal stuff, also mindset and with the e-commerce stuff and I went again during the festival season because from Q3 to Q4 which is like from September till December those are the best times to make money in e-commerce and most other businesses so I decided to find a new niche in the baby niche like kids toys and things like that and I went again and I was able to do around about $800,000 in revenue which was less than the previous year and around about $100,000 in profit that year now although I made less money that year and I had a lot of turbulence I actually learned a lot about myself I learned a lot about the industry and I also got a lot of knowledge and expertise from people that really got me up and set me up for the next following year. And that moves me on to the biggest challenge of my career by far today which was March 2020 the global pandemic and the reason why this was the biggest challenge was because it completely changed the way customers spent money online. I was getting loads of chargebacks on my previous stores because people, when they announced the actual lockdown, people were getting scared. So they were trying to refund money, cancel their subscriptions. And I got loads of refunds, loads of chargebacks. So I had around about a 40K bill that I had to pay because I lost all the cases, which was really, really annoying. And just things were in the air going crazy. And what happened to my store that did well the previous year? Guess what? It completely killed it again and no one was buying from it. And that really pissed me off because in that previous year I had to learn a lot of stuff about myself and I had to hire new people to teach me things and I feel like that completely went out the window because everything changed. I had to spend more time that year for around about one month learning what would do well during this global issue and I had to wait for people to calm down and have a normal look on life during that issue. So I learned that I needed to find a new niche that was actually recession proof, pandemic proof and I was able after a few weeks to find that out so I built a new store in that niche and that really changed the game. Now, although the pandemic really destroyed the first part of the year, it actually sped up everything for the last part of the year. So I was able to do $2 million in revenue with around about a $370,000 profit margin. So the pandemic at the end, or let's say the second quarter of the part of the year till the end, really did boost it to creating lots of money. And the reason why that happened was because the governments were printing so much money and stimulating the economy. So people spent money to avoid a recession. And that made e-commerce absolutely absolutely boom from the end of April 2020 onwards. And moving to the end of 2020, that's when I decided to come on board and join Solitel and become a co-owner of the brand and give all my knowledge and expertise towards it to scale the brand to the next level. And the reason why I decided to go down this path was because I absolutely love drop shipping, but it wasn't rewarding. Money-wise, it rewarded you, but when you start to make a certain amount of money, let's say $10,000 per month, money sometimes can't bring you a certain amount of happiness. And I wanted to do something where it would bring me happiness, but it also also bring me gratitude and people would say well I've got to respect this guy because he's actually building a solid brand and he's known for that brand in it because fashion something that I absolutely love especially as I was growing up it was something that I could be proud to say that I co-own and people respect me for it and something else that became a massive thing at the end of 2020 was TikTok organic and TikTok ads so I spent a lot of the last part of the year from November to December learning this industry especially TikTok influencers because Facebook was a massive issue with 
with e-commerce and drop shipping because of the ad account bans, because the business manager bans, Facebook was being an absolute pain in the arse to do anything successful. Now that moves us into 2021 and at the start of the year, I decided to take more focus on my brands instead of my drop shipping stores. The only drop shipping store that I really paid attention to were my TikTok stores, meaning that I was running TikTok ads or TikTok influencers or organic on those stores and it was only two stores out of six that I had at the time. Something called iOS 14.5 came out and that completely killed the tracking for Facebook and then eventually Google where basically iOS would stop certain tracking so it became a lot harder to understand what was working well when you were spending money on paid ads like Facebook and Google so it completely fit the advertising on its head for a few months and that forced me to move a lot of my dropshipping stores and my brands to TikTok ads, TikTok influencers because there wasn't any issues on that platform and that was another big challenge for me because I had to relearn a whole new platform again after just learning a platform over the last few years. Now my e-commerce stores and drop shipping stores were maintaining a healthy amount. We were doing around about in total around about 100 to 200 thousand dollars in revenue per month in 2021. So I was happy with it and I outsourced a team to look after the stores like an agency and I hired VAs and I wanted to spend more of my time on something else. And something else that was really important that I forgot to mention is I moved out of my mom and dad's house around about the end of 2020. It was October that I moved out and I really got used to it at the 2021 at the start of the year and just moving out completely catapulted my success again because it freed my atmosphere to being how I want it. I believe that your environment is very important. The noise, the sound, what you hear, what you see can really affect your mood and your mood is everything. So by moving out, it actually made me more money because it enabled me to do a lot more with my success. And that moves me on to investing my money. Now I'm outsourcing a lot of the e-com stuff like with agencies and VAs. I spent time thinking about what to do with this big lump sum of money that I've got in some of my accounts. Now I had an old friend of mine say, look Cam, you've got all of this money in these accounts. We're talking multiple, multiple six figures, not quite seven figures in profit and multiple six figures. I was thinking about around about $600,000, $700,000 in the bank. And my mate was like, look mate, this is dead money in the bank because of the interest rates, because of inflation, you're not getting anything out of your money being in that bank account. So he made me really think about investing my money. At the time, I was really scared to invest money because growing up, my mom and dad never did that. I've never seen anyone in my family do that. So it was new to me. So I didn't understand what this part of the world was. So after around about three months, he convinced me to eventually invest my money. But prior to that, I first invested my money into a few watches. So I bought a Rolex and then I bought another Rolex. And then I also bought an AP as well. And I had three nice luxury watches. And that was like my first part of investing. And the reason why I bought them was because I liked them. I didn't even think of them as an investment at the time. And then later on, somebody said to me, look, watches are actually better than cash because watchmakers are becoming less of them. There's supply and the demand chains being slow and the actual supply chains being an issue. So they actually went up a lot of money. So my Rolexes went up in a few thousand pounds, a few thousand dollars. And then I bought an AP that went up by 10,000. And I did sell all of those watches, by the way, because I kind of went off watches for a while. I thought I'm not really into it. I'd much prefer my Apple watch than a, a fancy luxury watch. So then I decided to invest the profit I made from the watches and the lump sum of money into crypto because I said to my friend at the time, well, if I'm going to invest the money, I don't want to invest it in somewhere where it's going to see a small return like the stock market. And with real estate, I believe that the kind of real estate that I want to get into, it's more commercial and I can't get into that with the kind of money that I had at the time. So he advised me to go into crypto and I was quite skeptical because I heard about Bitcoin my whole life growing up through my teens and I was like I don't know what to think about it but he eventually showed me his portfolio he got me into doing it and I remember I invested about $20,000 at the time that turned into $40,000 and this was around about February January time at the peak of the bull market where it was really you can make money doing anything at that time so then I invested even more and even more and so I ended up putting a lot of my net cash reserves all into crypto now I was able to turn that $600,000 that I invested back in February 2021 into around about $1.8 million by May 2021 so it was like three months I almost tripled my money which was insane so I actually officially became a millionaire on paper for about three months then the crypto market crashed and that went right back down to around about 500 so I was actually 100 grand in a loss at the time I didn't sell I hold it on and then November came that year which was 2021 and then it went from 
$500,000 all the way up to $3 million and I didn't cash out guys. I made a massive mistake not cashing out so I became a multi-millionaire in 2021 in cash on crypto but it obviously dropped in price. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys and a lot of other people online are not being honest with you guys when it comes to this. I got way too distracted with the crypto investing and other parts of investing and I kind of forgot about my e-commerce stores, my drop shipping stores and it really damaged my cash flow. I'm going to be real with you guys because I was making so much money in crypto I thought wow I it took me years to get that kind of money and I've just done it in a few months so I kind of got in a bad place for a few months investing and I had to really slap myself in the face and say look Cam you're forgetting what got you to where you are today and you need to stick to keep doing it so at the end of November, I decided to go all in with the TikTok organic store because I saw that TikTok organic was the next biggest thing and I could create a massive amount of cash flow in a short amount of time because people were doing it. And for those that don't know what organic means, it means you don't spend any money on paid ads. You're doing it all through free traffic sources. I met two guys called Syed and Oscar and we started a store and we actually went viral on TikTok over six months over November to around about June 2022 with this store and it generated a million dollars in revenue with a 65% profit margin, which means $650,000 in profit over six months, which means $100,000 profit per month till that date. Now, those numbers in terms of profit have never been heard before in the e-commerce dropshipping space. The actual average profit margin is normally around about 15 to 25 to sometimes 30%. And just to go back, I ended the year of 2022 with my net worth being around about $2 million to $2.5 million. Because the crypto market peaked in November and it did crash, but it didn't really have that massive crash till 2022. So at the start of 2022, I really did start to put all my focus back into e-commerce and dropshipping again. I completely forgot about crypto and I just left my money in there. I should have taken profit. I'm going to admit I should have taken profit. I got delusional about crypto and I forgot to take profits. But the good news is I am taking profits this year and I have been taking profits and I've been successful doing it. And I'll talk about that in the next few moments. So at the start of the year, I decided to go all in with my e-commerce and drop shipping stores again, but more on the organic side, things like TikTok organic. So I've got a few stores where I partner with famous influencers and I do all the marketing for them and they have the leverage of their big brand following. And by doing that, we're able to generate massive numbers. For example, we did $80,000 in one day and that was pure 60 percent profit because it was all through organic their followers by promoting it through email marketing and their actual feeds because the issue that I had in 2021 was I was starting to neglect my e-commerce businesses because of the crypto money. So since 2022, I've been all back into e-commerce again, and I've been able to generate around about $150,000 to $200,000 in profit each month. Because by partnering with famous influencers and using TikTok Organic, the profit margins are absurd. And I've also been able to add a few other brands to my portfolio that I now co-own that are going to be huge in the future. Now, what I've also done is I've actually created a TikTok blueprint mentoring program and this mentoring program actually teaches people now how to become successful with TikTok organic, teaches them how to do paid ads on TikTok and to show them how to recreate the success that we've had with this store because I do believe that this is the best way for beginners to become a multi-millionaire which is to get a organic TikTok store, go viral with it even if you generate $300,000 with it, reinvest it into a new store into the crypto market or the stock market and then you can flip that then into becoming a million dollars. So I believe that this is the best opportunity for beginners in 2022 if they want to make money because it's what's working for me right now and I've never seen profit margins like this ever before. So my business partner Syed and Oscar, the two geniuses that create the content on TikTok, are also part of this mentoring program and I'm hoping to change as many lives as possible in the program and we've already seen shoot success and it's only been launched for like two to three weeks and people are already going viral in our mentoring program. So my game plan for the rest of the years is to take my e-commerce brands to the next level like Solatel and a few others and some of my dropshipping stores, but to also take profit in my crypto journey, take profits at resistance and then buy back in and accumulate. Because if I just did that last year, I would have had over easily 3000 Ethereum. And if you do the math, yeah, that's some crazy numbers. And I think I would have actually had way more than that. But yeah, I've learned my lesson the hard way. But the good news is I've actually made a few trades this year and I've actually made some serious money. So I sold around about 300 Ethereum the other day and I've already profited like 100K by just doing that. And I'll put some proof on the screen. So I've learned a lot from my lessons and it actually has made a massive difference. So my net worth right now ranges from around about $3 million to around about $5 million. It just depends really what's going on in the markets and how my companies do. But it's 
it's roughly around about that scale. And this pretty much wraps up what I've been doing for over the last five years since the start of my journey. And the whole point of this video was to not brag, not to show off, but to inspire people that I know that are watching this, that are thinking, well, can I do the same thing to come on board and to give it a go and not worry about what anyone else is gonna say, but to make a massive difference in your life and even in your family's life. With my journey, I've not added absolutely everything, like all my businesses and everything else, because it would have made this video really, really long. But if you want me to do a full video and an update for the end of this year, let's hit 5,000 likes and let me know in the comment section below. And I hope this video has actually helped those that are watching this to think, well, I can actually do this myself. Because I am a true believer, it doesn't matter where you come from, what you've gone through, how old you are, you can make a massive difference in your life over around about a three to five year journey as long as you put the work in. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed my journey so far. It's a pleasure to meet every single one of you that are watching this video. And if you ever see me in real life, because I meet loads of you guys in real life when I go out, I meet people all the time. Just tap me on my shoulder, just say hello, don't be shy. And I'll definitely love to see you guys and take photos like I do with other people. And I plan on doing meetups all over the world, hopefully very soon.